Welcome back to Robot Reviews, everyone. I'm your host, Ryan. That's my co-host, J5. And today, we're going to be looking at NECA's last Ronin battle-damaged Ronin figure. Yeah, boy. I just wanted to go over the box real quick before we get into why this figure is so epic. I mean, if you haven't noticed, it's pretty much because it looks like the Hulk mixed with a turtle. It's the Hulk turtle. That's what we all thought when we first read the comic. We were just like, holy crap, this dude is jacked. He's huge. And, you know, it, this is this is the big moment. This is when you see him like this, this is that moment that you find out. But we'll go into that later on. Just want to show you what he looks like in the box here. The cushion inside, and he's got arms in the back there. I can tell they're hiding underneath him. He looks good, minus the, you know, ring light. It's getting in the frickin' way. He's got alternate heads, three alternate heads. So he's got four heads, bro. Damn, man. He's got the frickin' his father's diary. And the teapot that he was frickin' using while he was talking to himself. Yeah, man, this, this comic gets deep. Really deep. It, it hits hard. So when they do the movie... That's going to be an emotional train wreck for a lot of TMNT fans. Uh, my girlfriend especially, she's already like dreading it. Because when she found out what happens, <clears throat> I'll clear my throat for this sad story. She was just, uh, she was she was heartbroken. She doesn't want to see the movie now because she's going to cry, she said. She was like, no, it's sad. It's just so sad. Yeah, yeah. Let's uh, open this bad boy up. <laughs> This has to be, if not the best, one of the best Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figures I have ever seen or owned in my entire life. Like, the, the accessories look great, don't get me wrong, the accessories look great, but they're minimal here, you know, because it's just a teapot and a teacup and his, you know, Splinter's diary. The four heads is amazing. So I guess it's not that minimal. I'm just talking about like accessories as far as weapons and stuff. There is none of that. There are no weapons. But, um, you know, there's a lot of arms and hands here. There's two different arms. And then one, two, three other sets of hands. Plus the set of hands you got here. This is a really good deal for $34.99. You know, like this is crazy. He's, he's hefty-ish. He's not too heavy. I thought he would be heavier. He doesn't really feel that heavy. But he looks freaking huge, man. This looks so good, man. Let's take him out of the cushion. Let's take him out of this freaking cushion, yo. Let's uh, measure this naked turtle. I'm a little uncomfortable here. I, I, gotta, I gotta look away. My, my eyes... My eyes, there's nothing to look at. There's nothing down there. He's naked. Freaking, let's see here. He's uh, seven, a little over seven inches tall. Just a tiny bit, a little over seven inches tall. A fraction, if you will. I don't know. And then, you know, without bending the, the elbows here, because you can't bend his shoulders in anymore. I can't do it, Captain. We don't have the power. Uh, no, seriously, though. We under five inches wide here. So yeah, seven inches tall, five inches wide, something like that. I don't know. Look at the numbers. There are your measurements. Here he is with his brother Raf, and damn, he is much bigger. Look at the feet. Good lord. Look at that. Jeez, like the mutation definitely just kept going. You got way more muscular, way taller, just way bigger in general. And that's what she said, I think, right? There's gonna be a lot of those in here. The big freaking figure, not too big, but big enough. See, there's another one. That's what she said. They're all. That's what she said. Freaking, this is just amazing, though. The quality and the detail of these freaking. <laughs> Last Ronin figures. These have to be NECA's best work yet. I have to say. NECA comes out with a lot of cool stuff. 
but and I know I love Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, so that's easy and biased for me to say, but I'm telling you, out of all the TMNT stuff that they make, the last Ronin figures are by far the best stuff they've ever made. Oh my god, articulation, detail, top to bottom. It looks like the characters from the comics. I love it. And Sinjabot looks good next to him too, actually. I mean, all the last Ronin figures are going to look good next to each other. But it, this specifically just looks really good. I don't know why. Maybe it's because it feels like he could just destroy him at any time. Just like, this is a fucking Hulk turtle right here, bro. You are screwed, man. I think, uh... My boy uh, Mikey here is not liking his presence at all. He's all up in his face right now. He's up in his grill like, yo, what's up? What's up? Look away when I look at you, yo. You look at the floor when I walk by, you son. Footbot was definitely my favorite figure from the last Ronin line, for sure. Number one favorite until now. I think Footbot Soldier is going to take a close, very close second because this Michelangelo is just so fucking amazing. He's got to be my favorite figure from the entire line so far. We got this friggin' Sinjabot photobombing back there. Raph, take care of that, please. It's never happened in the comics, but it looks awesome. This is exactly what would happen if Mikey got his hands on a footbot. It was uh, Casey Jones and Leo that went against the footbot. But yeah, this is pretty cool. I love the way it looks. He looks like he's about to crush his fucking skull and then rip out his fucking spine. I have a naked figure to compare to another naked figure because nudity is the thing for this review. Here you go. My naked Rex from the Dinosaur Battlefield third party line. I love this figure, it's one of my favorites, and uh, yeah, look at this freaking guy, I had to back the camera up significantly just to get him in the shot, but look at these guys, they're naked, they're happy and they're naked and they're lizards, do 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 do, give me a high three, wait, how many, he's got four, he's got three, high, high two, because y'all both can handle two fingers, that's for sure, I don't know what I'm saying, don't listen to me, but this is your comparison segment. I hope you enjoyed. You know, my only gripe with the last Ronin comics was is that it lacked more mutants. Like, the only mutants in these comics are the turtles. Heads up. Like, well, kind of, sort of. Let me... No spoilers. Already, I've given enough away. But, uh, yeah, freaking... I would uh, like to see more mutant-on-mutant -mutant action as far as fighting. So, how awesome would it be to see these two go at it? Even if it's not in the comic, just to see this giant ass T-Rex, this Beefo-Reno T-Rex versus the Beefo-Reno Turtle. Let's do this. I'm ready for this fight. I would love to see this. This would look amazing. Uh, even if it was just animated or whatever. I don't know. Stop animation. I'm not that good yet. I'm not that good. I freaking... You got to see what I'm fucking going through just to get Johnny Five to wave hello in the beginning. But it, anyway, it's... This would be an amazing fight, is all I'm saying. And one last comparison here for you guys. I decided to throw in my custom uh, Raphael Warhammer here, just because he's also got the other uh, last Ronin head from Raphael. And, you know, honestly, they size up pretty good as far as height. But Mikey's just a little bit taller. Just a tiny bit taller, man. And I'm still not done customizing this, because this is going to have a... A Warhammer backpack on that to, to hide those holes in the back there. But yeah, man, this is a, a pretty good size up comparison. I think body wise, you know, physically structured, they look pretty similar. I don't know what I'm saying, but thank you for watching. I appreciate y'all. He looks really good. Like, there's not much else to say besides that. And I'll let you see for yourself here. I mean, he's got detail on every single part of his body. I mean, I'm seeing more detail on this turtle, on this figure, than any other freaking figure I've seen in a long time from NECA. <laughs> or other, other toy lines, to be honest with you. And they charge more money. You know, like, I'm thinking of the Mars Attack Super 7 figures I got recently. And those head sculpts were amazing and fully detailed. But the body sucked, and they didn't have that great of a paint job all around. 
This is way cheaper than 55, 35 bucks, man. And the detail is from top to the very fucking bottom. Oh, is it always have to curse? Yes, I have to fucking curse. That's how amazing this freaking thing looks. Holy shnikes. Oh, I didn't curse that time, right? Holy shit, all right? Stop watching your kids. Stop letting your kids watch my channel. I don't even know what I'm saying now. Anyway, freaking, um, the feet articulate really well and the legs. We got a double joint for the knee. Thank God. And we got a ball hinge for the foot. Thank God. So, like, it's not just a figure that looks really good. It's got great articulation, too. Like, you're going to get some great poses out of him and do some great, like, acrobatic crap if you want like you don't really see him do much naked in the comic but why should that stop you oh i popped his hand off oh i'm going a little too hard here because i'm trying to articulate the hand it's got that first time stiffness there we go yeah the arms and the hands are pretty good as far as articulation it's just you got to deal with this first time stiffness on the wrists or they're gonna pop out so i'll do that later a little blow dry action or maybe hot water. I don't know. I've been. I tried the hot water technique the other day, and it, it does work. It's just I don't know. I I don't want to put them in hot water. I feel type of way. I feel like the paint's gonna rub off, even though it's not. Here's what the underneath and the back of the shell looks like. I gotta be careful though, cause I feel like that'll rip if I pull too hard. There's like a gap opening up right there. You see that? I don't want to do that anymore. But yeah, there. That's what it looks like underneath there. There's his turtle butt. Very flat, yo. But these freaking uh beauty marks here his his morph if you will uh it, it's all over the back of his arms the back of his ass uh let's see here not on the back of his legs they're not on his feet as far as i can tell let me see let me just make sure yep no they're not on his legs but they're all over the back of the arms the back of the ass technically the back just a little bit there they're not lining up with the mold that great or the sculpt whatever you want to call it this is technically the mold though because these are the copies yo but um yeah it still looks good even not lining up i don't know if anybody else's came out like that but mine definitely don't line up and it doesn't look bad at all if you're gonna like look at it mad close on an hd fucking camera then yeah you're gonna see it immediately but like taking pictures from afar or just articulating and messing with it looking at it in the display case that looks really good still that looks really good i'm very happy with it. the shell came out great too i i just i can't help but just keep going further into the detail of this because it just looks so freaking good they did a great job with the articulating and not having the shell stuck to the the chest here so you can get some crunch action you know what i'm saying like this is one of the best articulated turtles I've ever had in my life. The head articulated really good too. But I will say the only caveat I have with this figure. It's one of those figures that the the, the freaking ball hinge pops out of the neck instead of the freaking head. So now it's stuck in the head. And you got to go through this pain in the ass of prying that out of there. And you know if you don't want to freaking be there all day. It's a pain in the ass. Okay so that's annoying. But other than that this thing articulates amazing yo mm, 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 mm. yeah i am corny and stupid yeah 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 this is the head sculpt that the figure comes with in the box like on it already and i like it this is like definitely got hulk vibes all over it and i got him flexing for ya he's showing off the guns let's look at another head without the bandages I love this head sculpt so much. It's this just screams, huh? Like, huh? You're you're who? Casey Marie Jones? Who the fuck is that? Michelangelo was infamous for smiling and being happy and the jokester of the group, but now that smile has become the creepiest thing he could ever do. This is creepy as fuck sauce. Like I don't even know what fuck sauce is, but it's creepy, okay? This is really creepy, man. I can't make eye contact with him because I feel like I got to look down and look the other way, yo. I feel a type of way, yo. Don't look at him. He's waving his hand. He's going to murder you. He's from the freaking show Are You Afraid of the Dark right now or some creepy-ass shit. All he, all he needs is a red nose. 
a red freaking nose like a clown, and that's it. I'm done. I'm running out of the freaking house. Uh, turtle Frankenstein. Rah. Yeah, not really. Yeah, I'm done with that bit. Ah, not really. I'm still going. Ah. He does give me the vibes of Frankenstein, though. He, he reminds me of Frankenstein. I think it's the bandages and the fact of how big and muscular he is. But I think what would sell the Frankenstein look more is if we give him his arms with his bandages. So let's do that. You know, they look really good. They look just as good as the other ones. They got that blue powdery stuff on it. You can just wipe that off, though. With your hand, like me, or with a napkin, like a, you know, normal person. But yeah, here they are. They got the bandages all over. I'm seeing one difference right here. This one's got an extra, like, looks like an actual Band-Aid right there, like a regular Band-Aid. I like it. They look good. They look just as detailed as the regular arms do. His left side is over here. Oh, wow. These articulate already very easily. Let's pop this out of the arm. Oh, beautiful. Very easy. No problem. That was kind of scaring me. I was like, man, is this going to be an issue or not? And since the hands don't have any bandages on it, they're going to match with both arms no matter what. No matter what. And then we just pop that in there. And it's as easy as that. Shake test. Wiggle test. It's still in there. Yeah, that's what she said. I'll give you the separated arm comparison as well. There they go. Whoa. I don't know. Is it me? Does the... Uh, maybe it's just me. I'm looking at it again. I think it's just me. But the one with the bandages looks a little more stocky. It looks a little more thick. In my opinion. Let's get him doing the whole... Monster thing again. Rawr! Rawr! He still looks like a turtle in bandages and no way at all like Frankenstein. I know. But let me imagine. Okay? Leave me alone. So the whole deal with uh, our Ronin boy here and why he's all butt-ass naked is because, um, well, he didn't used to be naked. As we were introduced to Ronin, he was wearing a hoodie. He was wearing a, a, a black band over his eyes. So we were not knowing what turtle this uh guy was yet you know that a lot of people forget or don't know that it was a surprise it was a major reveal on who last ronin was in the very beginning we didn't know who he was um it wasn't until we saw him in this exact look in this battle damage butt ass naked look that we found out uh through april o'neill uh spoiler alert for something that's been out for years uh she calls out his name you know uh long story short He's about to kill himself with that uh, that thing they do, seppuku or whatever. And Casey Jones' daughter, or April O'Neil and Casey Jones' daughter, Casey Marie, shows up out of nowhere and is like, what are you doing? Catches him off guard. He passes out from blood loss. He wakes up in the freaking bed after like hallucinating or dreaming or maybe actually seeing visions of his brothers and his father. Uh, who knows? We don't know. It's all left to the uh, audience members to decide what he saw, what he experienced. But anyway... April O'Neil's there, and she's just like, yeah, missed you, buddy, but guess what? Uh, I lost my arm, I lost my leg, and, like, you're the only mutant left, and, well, almost the only mutant left, but I I'll leave some things to, you know, surprise if you don't know yet. I'll let you find that out on yourself, but, yeah, freaking, uh, she's got a robotic arm and a robotic leg. She woke up like that, and then she just started, like, doing everything Donnie would do. She became the new Donnie, essentially, waiting for the right time, the right moment to strike against the new bad guy, which is uh, uh, Oroku Harado, uh, basically uh, Shredder's grandson. And um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a pretty deep story. It gets deep. But the, the main thing I just want you to know is, is that the, when we first see Mikey looking all naked and butt-ass naked damaged like this is because we're getting the reveal that he is Michelangelo that's that's the first time we see him now as you can see here I've been trying to get his legs crossed and it's just not looking the way I want it to look it's coming close but I think I'm just gonna have to settle for like ah there goes the teapot I settle for something like this which still looks okay it doesn't look too bad it's just eh I wanted it to look a certain way and I'm trying to make it look now like he's Pouring the freaking drink in there. Of course, now, after the slideshow's over, 
I don't have this ready for you. Oh, there he goes. Never mind. And then let me just get this out of his crotch. The freaking cup is all in his crotch, yo. I'm getting to hold the drink. And you just got to bring that arm over a little more. There we go. There we go. And he's drinking the tea. Yay. I hope you enjoy my story time slideshows. Here he is reading his dad's diary. You know, the only gripe I have about this diary here is that I wish it showed that that page in the back where it says no peace and no, no peace. And then, you know, later on the no K and and K N O W. Yeah, I know how to spell. But um I think they showed at Comic-Con San Diego Comic-Con the same book but with the spot I was talking about that says no peace on it. That's pretty cool, man. But for this book, um we're looking at moves, fighting moves here that he was supposed to teach to uh Casey Marie, daughter, not actual Casey Jones, and you know, it just it didn't work out that way the way he wanted it to, the way she wanted it to, but I'm not going to spoil too much. You guys got to know by now that the turtles die. I just won't spoil how they die. You go find out yourself. Go go find out. Read the freaking comic already. Turtle crotch. Yeah, you know you like it. Let me zoom out though. Cuz that's weird. There you go. That's what I wanted you to see. He's holding up the foot bot and the freaking singer bot one hand at a time. I love it. You know, April O'Neil was definitely right. The mutation over the years had made him way bigger and way stronger and heals way faster than the turtles ever did when they were all together. This is what they would all look like though if they all got a chance to be that big. Jesus, man, he's huge. I love the way he looks, man. And you're probably going to see this shot again in the music video too. Something similar or the same exact shot. Cuz this is just too good not to reuse or use, yo. And I'm lazy. And that's going to be it for this review. I hope you all enjoyed. I really love this figure. It's definitely worth your money. Check it out on the Walmart app. I left the link below in the description. Um, yeah, you're going to be seeing this figure again soon in a project that I got coming up, a random review once again. So stay tuned for that. I think you guys are really going to enjoy it. I know I'm going to enjoy doing it, that's for sure, but I think you guys are going to enjoy watching it. It sounded weird coming out, but you'll see what I mean soon. Anyway, next Sunday we're going to be looking at the Evo Rex robot figure that I was supposed to show you this Sunday. I told you last Sunday, and now I'm showing you next Sunday. I hope you followed that cuz I kind of did. And yeah, that's what we're going to be looking at next Sunday. Stay tuned for the music video. I'm going to be showing you some cool shots of uh, Mr. Michelangelo over here uh, fighting a T-Rex and uh, fighting some bots. Lots of bots. And yeah, that's going to be it. Thank you for watching. I'm your host, Ryan. That's my co-host, J5. Peace, peace. Your mother! Peace.